This video starts in the Singapore airport because, well, I was a little bit too travel sick to vlog up until now. We started in Indianapolis, flew to Atlanta, then San Francisco, and then Singapore, and finally to Kuala Lumpur. So it was a little bit over 30 hours of travel time, which you can imagine being on a plane for a long period of time can be unpleasant but I'm just glad we made it safely and it was a great trip overall. After arriving and trying to get a decent night of sleep, which it was not a decent night of sleep, we went to Hachi Oping Park in the morning. It's a gorgeous park with a lot of great scenery and waterfalls. This is the park that my papa loves to go exercise at and meet up with friends, so we were excited to walk around and just see what she does on a normal daily basis. We also got to do a lot of the exercises with my grandma and her friends, which was super fun and helped wake us up a little bit. And another favorite part of this park for me is the amount of monkeys that are here. My Gung Gung loves to feed the monkeys, which we told him not to because they can get aggressive if you feed them too much. For our first breakfast, we ate roti chanai, which is a very typical Malaysian breakfast that you would have. I would describe it kind of like naan and you dip it in curry. Super good. Uh, something different here in Malaysia is that you eat pretty big breakfast. Like I would have a big bowl of noodles for breakfast, whereas here in the States, it's usually our smallest meal. At least I usually have just like an egg and toast. So very interesting to kind of change my appetite around. Oh, we're, going to, we're going to first Souvenirs. Souvenir shop. And then go to the mall. One mall. And, and then, then go to mall. another mall. <laughs> Lots of shopping. Shopping and eating. That's yeah. all we do here. After breakfast, we took the MRT train, which is this huge above ground train that goes across the city. And we went to Central Market, which is an indoor and outdoor market with a ton of items. It was really fun to shop all the different kind of clothes and trinkets you can get. I bought a few things here. I got some unique watercolor items. I found a print by a local artist that I loved and also a paintbrush with a paintbrush holder, which was super fun to be able to take home and remind myself of Malaysia. Got a watercolor paintbrush and the other thing's wrapped, it's a watercolor paintbrush holder. Ah. Uh-uh. And there's Trevor. <laughs> Hello. It's me. Watercolor art. After Central Market, we went to a mall called Pavilion. My cousin Sui Ling was taking us around the city. She knows the train system so well and how to navigate the cities. So it was super helpful and fun to have her with us. Something I noticed about Malaysia are there are so many malls here. And my theory is because Malaysia is so hot outside that malls are a great place to cool down and walk around but it's really crazy to see how packed they all are. It's like the whole city is in a mall every day. <laughs> so cool. What did you have for lunch? I, I don't remember what it's called. <laughs> the next day, we did a lot of activities. We started off by going to the King's Palace and this day was a lot of fun because we got to see our cousins Yi Chan and Ming Chir and Joshua. So it was a lot of fun getting to hang out with them since we just don't get to see them very often. After the King's Palace, we went to Batu Caves, which basically you climb up a bunch of steps and then go into this really cool looking cave. So you're going to see there are a lot of steps. I don't even know how many, but I was so exhausted when we were at the top. But it was a lot of fun getting to hang out again with our cousins and uh, just getting to experience some new and really cool scenery. Another theme that we see with Malaysia is that there are monkeys everywhere, which is super uh, different from what you see in the States. So at first we tried to climb up the steps with just what we were wearing, but we did hear that you're supposed to cover up your legs. So luckily my mom brought some sarongs with her. So we were able to cover up before going up the steps. How do you feel? I'm like winded. Like, How winded? I don't exercise like this. Wow. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, God. Wow. We did it. It 
was well worth it getting to the top. We got to see this awesome cave and it had this really cool opening at the top. So definitely we'll be looking to paint this at some point. So after Batu Caves, we went to a restaurant in Chinatown. I got this amazing prawn noodle soup, which I don't have a video of because, and you're gonna notice, I just don't take a ton of videos of food because I usually ended up devouring it really quickly before I could even get a photo. So just trust me, it was amazing. After lunch, we just walked around Chinatown a little bit more. Um, there were a lot of cool artwork and murals around. Um, we also just saw a lot of cute little dim sum stalls, which if you don't know me, I love dim sum. And there just aren't a ton of places in Indy. I have a few favorites, but I was in heaven here. We then went to KLCC, which is this humongous building, also a mall inside. There are malls, I'm telling you, everywhere. We also got to see this beautiful view of downtown, which again, I cannot wait to paint it. This is my favorite dessert. We got this like three times and honestly probably should have gotten it more. And the mangoes in Malaysia are just something else. We then got dinner at this Hokkien Mi restaurant, which I love those noodles. They are delicious. This is probably one of the only actual food videos that I caught on camera because I, again, I just devour everything so quickly. <laughs> we got some Hokkien Mi and also some fried rice and roast duck, which were all just so delicious. And here we are on our way to Punk or Loud. Super fun trip. Seth got to watch the Indy 500 on the way, which as you can see, he was so sad to miss. We are stopping at a little Chinese village on our way to the resort. Here is what it looks like. Whee! Oh, it's so orange. It is so cute. Hi! Hi! Just like Indiana, but instead of corn, it's rice fields. We got to see this little fishing village where they had rice fields and caught fresh seafood. Super rural area, but the food that we ate here was amazing. And here we are in Ponker Lao. This was definitely one of the highlights of my trips. Let's go to the pool. To the pool. We are in Ponker Lao and we are only going to be here for one full day but we're gonna make the most of it. One of the first things that we did when we got to the resort was go straight to the pool. It was particularly hot in Pankerlau at this time, so the pool felt amazing. Go, 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 go. No, just go, jump. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, I'm gonna be... It was just so gorgeous here. I love painting the beautiful beaches and can't wait to do more. Right? It was also just such a great time bonding with our cousins and they're just so much fun to hang out with. I really miss them and wish we lived a little bit closer. This one's called Emerald Beach. We came back here with my whole family to watch the sunset and it was such a beautiful scene. I ordered a mango smoothie and it was amazing. Look at our view. When we were in Pakar Lao, we went to this spa and I normally don't get massages, but I think I might need to start doing them more often because it was incredible. I almost fell asleep on the table and it was just probably one of my favorite parts of Pakar Lao. We really only spent one full day at Punker Lao, so I decided to leave this beautiful place, but excited to go back to Kuala Lumpur to spend more time with family. We had plans to do karaoke with all of my cousins, so enjoy that for the next minute.
one of my absolute favorite days of this whole trip was this last day where we got to spend time at my papa and gungung's house playing cards she taught us how to play gin rummy which is one of her favorite games so it was just a great time bonding with her playing uh one of her favorite card games she made this amazing chicken soup and i don't know what was in it but i'm gonna have to try making it here because it was so good and that's a wrap on our Malaysia trip. It was so much fun to get to spend time with our family and just see some beautiful sights. I definitely hope to go back soon. It's really cool to see a different culture. And thank you for sticking around to watch this journey with me. 